But now what you won't hear shared on mainstream media, on legacy media across the world is that the earth is actually greening. And this is something that we should, and I think are, at least I am, very excited about. I'm excited to hear that the earth is actually greener today than it was 20 years ago. NASA recently shot some images and compared it with 20 years ago, and they can see that across China, across India, there is a far greater amount of greenery today than back in the mid 1990s. The same goes with many places of the world. When you look across uh, North America, when you look across the rainforest in South America, you look across the, the Congo in, China, in uh, Africa, you look across Europe, you look at these forests all across the world and you see that they are greening. And this is a great thing that these forests are greening. And the cause of it, there's there's some different theories that people think the reason for these causes. One is that in the 80s, places like China and India, uh, South America, Northern America, Europe, there, there's a lot of deforestation that had already taken place and was taking place. In the 90s, we kind of woke up to that and we're like, eh, we probably should take care of the environment. Yeah, that might be a good idea. So people started planting trees. It became more eco-friendly and conscious. Because of that, we see this booming of vegetation across China, across India. Now, other countries that did not deforest or other areas in the world that didn't really go through a lot of deforestation, they didn't see a whole lot of greening as much in those areas, but it is also because they didn't have that deforestation in those areas. Another interesting fact that NASA talks about is that we are seeing on a macro scale across the earth more greening. Why? Because there is more CO2 in the earth, in the atmosphere. If you remember from science class and photosynthesis, we as humans, we breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. But plants, they breathe in carbon dioxide and they breathe out oxygen. Now, this is a great thing because they clean the air for us, right? This is why we want to preserve the rainforest. But another thing is as we have put more carbon dioxide into the earth, it has caused a more rich carbon dioxide environment, which has caused the greenery of the earth to grow more. NASA says that green leaves uses energy from sunlight through photosynthesis to chemically combine carbon dioxide drawn from the air with water and nutrients tapped from the ground to produce sugars, which are the main source of food, fiber, and fuel for life on Earth. Studies have shown that increased concentrations of carbon dioxide increases photosynthesis, spurring plant growth. However, carbon dioxide fertilization isn't the only cause of increased plant growth. Nitrogen, land cover change, climate change by the way of global temperature, precipitation, and sunlight changes all contribute to the greening effect. To determine the extent of carbon dioxide's contribu contribution, researchers ran the data from carbon dioxide from each of the other variables in isolation through several computer models that mimic the plant growth observed in the satellite data. The results showed that carbon dioxide fertilization explains 70% of the greening effect, said the co-author Maga Riani, a professor in the Department of the Earth and Environment at Boston University. The second most important driver is nitrogen at 9%. This is huge. So what we are seeing is that we live in a highly complex system. A highly complex system was when there is more carbon dioxide that is put into that system, the earth actually grows greener. And with more vegetation, there's more food for our planet, for animals, for us, for others, the earth is actually healthier. 